Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about who was Steven Stainer and what really happened to him. Yes, we are talking about Hulu's, you know, new series about Steven Stainer. Please continue to watch this video. Hulu will soon feature the story of Steven Stainer, the boy who miraculously returned after seven long years of abduction in its upcoming docuseries, Captive Audience. With rising interest in true crime series among audiences, streaming platforms are featuring more crime documentaries to cater to the ever-growing fans of this genre. So let's talk about Steven Stainer. Steven Stainer shot to fame with media coverage when he managed to set himself free and save another boy after spending seven long years in abduction, where he faced psychological and sexual abuse. However, with the fame Steven Garner that shot him into the limelight, his brother Carrie Stainer started getting neglected, which negatively affected him and caused him irreparable psychological damage. This eventually led him into a pit of despair. The upcoming Hulu documentary features the story of two brothers and how the media played a pivotal role in valorizing one while ignoring the side effects it would have on under the others. Captive Audience is going to premiere on Hulu this April 21st. So let's talk a little bit more about the incident that happened with Stephen. In 1972, when Stephen was just seven years old and walking home from school one day, he ran into a strange man who claimed to be collecting church donation. Little Stephen, thinking that he could help, noted that his mother might be interested in making a donation. To this, Kenneth Farler, the man who was posing as a fundraiser, responded that he could drive young Stephen home so that he could talk to his mother about it. Although reluctant at first, Stephen got into the car with Parnell, and that was the last anyone saw of him. Parnell was a child abductor and had kidnapped Stephen only to keep him locked and abuse him for years to come. While no trace of Stephen Stainer could be found, all hope was lost that he may be alive. Stephen himself was forced to pretend that he was Parnell's son, Dennis. Stainer was too young to understand that he had been kidnapped and Parnell had brainwashed him into believing that he had legal custody of him and that his parents were no longer interested in him and had abandoned him. So... Initially, Stephen accepted his fate but eventually began to rebel and as he grew older and was no longer able to bear the torture that Parnell inflicted upon him. In 1980, when Parnell kidnapped another young boy named Timmy White, Stainer took the opportunity and snuck out, uh, taking the little boy with him into uh, the town to the nearest police station. Stephen had managed to run successfully away from the abductor and was returned to his family after seven long years in abduction. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch the space for more informative news. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day here.